Cax and I sat down to play another game of 300 Earth and Water. And something weird happened we'd like to get your opinion on. Come check out our game today here on Legendary Tactics. Yeah, so speaking of weird, right away, it was a very, very interesting start to this game. Yeah, so, it was uh, a really bizarre game in many I, ways. I don't, yeah, we've played, we've played a bunch of games, and I, I have not seen this happen yet, so... Yeah, so... Well, I we started Persia, out, of course. You know, and I'm I'm Greece, and uh, so we started out and uh, with the Persian preparation phase. Yep. And you started so drawing up some cards. You know, why not cards. get a few cards in hand? And boom, okay. death of Darius, <laughs> sudden death of Darius, dead. <laughs> Persia <laughs> removed army from reserve. So it's like, okay, well, okay, so right. yeah, I get it. Yeah, that someone happens. dies, right? Round two, here we go. All okay, right, draw some round cards. Two, here we go. <laughs> and so let's start picking up some cards and. Uh, See what happens. And, Assassin uh, assassination of Xerxes. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so we're <laughs> in the round three. We're literally halfway through the game yeah. <laughs> in about five seconds. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. But uh, anyway, but now at least those are out of the way. And hey, so, and if anyone out, out there is watching and has like made it to round, you know, four <laughs> before, before you know. The, or, well, no, there's only the two cards. Right. Oh, so, okay, so that's it. So we literally got as far as we could. Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's a, kind of the worst possible start is when this happens. And there, okay. I, I, and I, I understand there's been some criticism of it online, but I understand why because they don't want the end game to be totally predictable. They want it right. to be potentially a shorter game than you would expect. Okay. Right. That's yeah. because otherwise, it it if they don't have that, then people can plan for the end game and. It it oh, kind of this this does creates a real it. wild card kind of scenario. It does, yeah. Well, you know what? That wasn't and that wasn't even the weird part we were talking about in the uh, in the intro yeah. there. So hold on to your hats, folks, and <laughs> uh, you know stick along, stick around. We're gonna, you're going to see even more strangeness. <laughs> yeah. So you drew up four hands or four cards in hand. Yep. That's a fairly uh, decent. Uh, hand you know what? I, I'm still trying to find the right uh, the right uh, feel for that. You know, like how many cards? Is yeah. Each, you know, I I think it, it certainly as the Greek player, I I watch very carefully how many cards Persia buys, and that's kind of but gives dictates me, how many you'll take. Yeah, yeah. So, and you, yeah, I think having more cards is generally best, but it's also like knowing what you want to accomplish on that turn. Yeah, and well, you did, I did build the bridge. Did wanna, I did want to get a, a bridge built, you know, and uh, and get a few guys down. So yeah, so you got a couple more uh, armies down. <clears throat> so I was looking at it and thinking, okay, well, it's obvious that there's going to be just a land uh, attack in uh, Pella. So, Pella's coming, yeah. So I just started buying up cards, and I wanted to. I bought up four. Oh, to match me, okay. And uh, I got. Uh, uh, Artemisia, Art Artemisia, one Molon Molon Lab, uh, support from Syracuse and three hundred. Oh, three hundred is a nice card to <laughs> so, have. for support from Syracuse is great. Look at that, you know, place all Greek fleets uh, down. So that's yes, an easy event to take. Um, I can cancel out your tribute of Earth and Water, um, which could be useful. Um, so I was just thinking, well, I'll buy some armies. Yeah, because you're gonna get talents. you're gonna be having boats in the water pretty soon. Yeah, absolutely. So um, your first uh, card was the Royal Road. And, yeah, so uh, I select uh, select one of the two cities. Yep. And, and so boost up. Yeah, you really built up your army very nicely with that uh, with that card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place one to three armies there. So yeah, just yeah, that's just great. Thought I'd get some. Yeah, get them all on. Get them all in there. So uh, so my first card was support from Syracuse. Obviously, get as many fleets down as possible, even though I knew you were not focusing See, that made on... me a little bit worried early, but then I realized, you know what, you don't really have any army support to to be too concerned with. Like, the worst-case scenario is you're taking two armies and attacking me, so... Yeah, and, and or just attacking your fleet and destroying it, which is... But you have your bridge, so... Yeah, It's yeah. not... Um, but of course, the bridge always uh, attracts some attention to Abydos, and uh, yes, it so that's does. what I was looking for was for my opening there. So, um, so then uh, you discarded uh, card eleven, uh, uh, sudden death of the great king. So yeah. that was uh, the uh, essentially um, 
a dead card anyway, so you may yeah. as well play it for movement. And, and uh, moved the troops up. I did leave some back just in yep. case you got so many funny ideas. <laughs> yes, and I was having funny ideas, let me tell you. Yeah, well, you always do. <laughs> so I played card nine for, for movement, and that was my uh, uh, Art Artemisia uh, one, because I just didn't see how I was going to use it. And um, I just decided to take one of the islands. Take and the island, in, sure. In yeah. retrospect, it, I don't know if it, well, I guess it doesn't matter because I could have just followed the road to get to a Theba, Thebes, like Thebae. Um, but uh, anyway, I just thought I'd take one of the islands and uh, score a point if I can. And you did some more land movement. Um, so here I was kind of thinking, well, maybe if I can't uh, get the bridge, maybe I can cut off at uh, Pella, you know, to right. uh, cut off your army there. But... Uh, I was just going to see how it how it went. So I passed, actually, because I had two cards in hand. And these were 300, which is a defensive card. And Molon, Molon Lab uh, is good against Tribute of Earth and Water. So I just thought, well, I'll just hang on to those. I'm in no rush. I don't really have anywhere else to go. So um, I passed. And what did you play? Tribute of Earth and Water. Yes. And... Uh, I played a Malone, Malone Lab to cancel it, and that was exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Yes, cancel. And I had, so I had, I had my 300 left behind, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, you know, I don't know. Oh, I got my land movement, sorry, from Molon uh, Lab, yeah, so I Thie went into Thiebae. Thebes. Yep. Thebae, Thebae or Thebae, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, I, I passed after that because I wanted to hang on to the 300, obviously, and... Uh, you passed automatically, so we went to the next uh, phase. So next round, yeah. Um, and uh, you did have to lose a couple armies to the supply, but you know uh, you were able to uh, keep me to one victory point. So I was able to just you know edge things over on that. Yeah, uh, you actually that... spread out kind of nice. You you had a pretty good spread there. Yeah, well, I really wasn't under threat. Like that was part of the reason why I was able to do it was because I was uh, able to. I only had to worry about. Uh, Thebes really that's the the intersection that uh, you know where you can get into the rest of Greece you didn't really have the sea forces to challenge me so um, although I guess you maybe could have come across uh, to the Thebae or whatever yes yes so you bought four cards and started reinforcing <laughs> like crazy yeah bump up Larissa <laughs> bump up yep. uh, some of the home bases there a little bit yeah now, what was your reason for going into uh, the home base? Uh, just, just uh, for uh, protection. Ephesos. And, and I, I yeah. added one extra to uh, Echidos, uh, just because I have the ship there. So I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll go take the. My, my plan was to take the other island at some point. Oh, was it? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I didn't do it. I didn't want to do it till I was pretty comfortable with, uh, with what I had in back. So. Yeah. So I really wanted to get an edge in cards on you. So I got five cards in hand. And I picked up uh, the Mines of uh, Lorion, which is such a good one. Like spend immediately three talents. So you can use preparation phase. Wow. buy cards or fleets or armies, whatever you need. It's a really yes. good one. Um, remove uh, a Persian army from a major Persian city, which is in your back 40 there. I, eh, it's okay. Tree Rem was not useful in this scenario because you had no naval units to, to sink. And uh, desertion of, of Greek soldiers to remove one Persian army from the map and place yeah. it in reserve. So That could have really been a deadly last play card. And what I was thinking there... Like if you would have starved Pella, for example, like if you took Pella out? Well, yeah, that that's what I was thinking would be a great end-of-turn play. Yes, yes. Because I thought, ooh... If I play that as my second last card and remove Pella and then move in with uh, my armies, uh, you know, an army from the sea, then that but could doesn't be it, Doesn't really... it instantly ruin uh, tr uh, the uh, supply train true, right? Well, it's not instant. It's at the end of the round. So any troops, because I figured you'd be pushing into th uh, Thebes and Delphi and so forth. So I figured that's what, where you'd be headed. So I was... Yeah thinking, well, maybe uh, I could use that card, remove, and then I wouldn't have to even fight. I could just move in and cut off that uh, supply. And uh, that's anyway, right. I, that's what I was thinking. So I, I, 
beefed up with a couple more uh, armies. So maybe I still should put of, everything. Still in Thebes, a ton. But... I guess you don't have, you don't have a lot of armies though, do you? In, with no. the Greece side. No, not really. But they're better fighters, right? So yeah, yeah, that's um, your trade off. So you you tried the separate piece to try and break apart. And you know what? I have not had any luck with this card. I've played <laughs> this like three or four times on you, and always, always yeah. failed. Yeah, I know. It's really funny. Oh, um, and isn't it like it's a head, it's a straight up roll, isn't it? Like I yeah. think you get the tiebreaker. Yes, that's it. Yep. Uh, but it's not like it's a battle. It's a battle yeah. roll. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I only would have lost the three hundred with that card. In as as it sits. Oh, right. It was the only Spartan. Card that's the only Spartan card I had. So it wouldn't have been a total, you know, game disaster. Well, way, it, yeah. Not, seeing your hand now, I was like, okay, that's not. Yeah. Uh, I feel placated a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then I passed because I'm like, huh. Let's let's. I want to. I want to make sure I maintain a big card advantage here. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you played the Great King. Which one's that? Uh, the Great King. So, just looking it up right here on my side. Uh, make a land movement. If battle occurs and your opponent is annihilated or retreats, score one point immediately. Yeah. However, your opponent would score one if uh, I don't control the city at the end. Yeah. So it was so, going to be Larissa to Thebe here. Yes, that was a, a good call. And you went all in. Had to, had to. I didn't want to lose the point. And we uh, won for one. And I decided actually to retreat here because I, I felt like it wasn't the battle I wanted to fight. Yeah. And so I was happy to take the point, really. Yeah, and, and really, uh, maybe I should have stayed, but I was really um, concerned about, uh, uh, you know, preserving forces knowing that i had mines of lorian and i could rebuild those three uh infantry there so yeah. that's what i played next and i but i decided to buy a card just in case make sure i keep maintain my edge and i put uh, another couple armies into uh, uh corinthos so just to keep you out yeah so now that's that, a pretty formidable uh wall there you have yes exactly although you do you are up in points or at least yeah, you're up in points right now, so that's a potential risk for me. So, um, so uh, then you played ostracism, and guess which card you uh, removed with ostracism? The one army. The and one I, I remember when I when I pulled that out and saw it, I thought, how awesome! Because that means I, yep. I saw what you were gonna do. Like I, yeah. I had a very sneaking suspicion what you were gonna do. Yep, and that's what I was planning on because you would have been out of cards, and I could have. Uh, just you know, walked potentially right. just gone ahead and done that, right? Yep. So, um, so I just played uh, uh, Tree Rem for movement, and uh, this was where um, I was thinking about. Oh, okay. Well, maybe uh, you know what? There's only four infantry in Abydos by the bridge, and I can get three uh, units there fairly easily. Now. Uh, I I wish I'd put the the troops maybe uh, in Sparta or whatever. It it left Athens vulnerable, but I thought eh, this could be a really good move because I've got the advantage in cards, and you only had one card left, and you were passing it. So I'm like, okay, yeah. let's go for it. Let's load up and invade Abydos. So this is this is now we're coming up to the part where I I have uh, I was I was. The game either uh, backfired on us, or uh, you know what I I miss we we misunderstood. Yeah, we would love uh, your opinion. Anyone watching this, uh, let us know what happened here. So we did the first attack. We each lost one, and this was really touch and go. And in in retrospect, I probably should have just attacked Pella. Um, that probably would have been a, a smarter, a play. safer bet. Yeah, but uh, it, we stayed yeah, in. Yeah. I managed to get one hit on you. And then we lost one each. And it came down to the one. And then Ugh. you lost your it. last army. And I had the option. Should I destroy the Hellespont pontoon bridge? I thought, yeah. So it's, it's, it's at this exact point. Yes. Just before you destroyed that pontoon bridge. <laughs> yes. So uh, what because happened? I had in hand, I had the Immortals. Which says playable immediately after a land battle in which the Persian army is annihilated. Place the Greek reaction card, if present, in the discard pile and put back up to three Persian armies that were eliminated. Yeah. In the previous battle and start a new battle. So. And it did not let you uh, play that card, did it? Oh. 
Oh my, NATO. I am now reading. There's a subscript on the bottom. It says, not playable after the assassination of Xerxes or if both sides are eliminated in the same time. Oh, wow. So the assassination of Xerxes, Xerxes did happen. Xerxes, yes. Oh, wow. So, you know what? We were we were literally confounded until just right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess and we as, answered as we our famously own say to each each other, RTC. <laughs> yes, read the card. But I'll tell you so, that we looked in the rules. We looked everywhere, and we just and I, there was you know what that subscript just kind of we both missed it. Yeah, well, I'm I'm I didn't know it was even there, or I didn't know yeah. you had that that card in hand, and I never read it closely enough. Yeah. So I didn't even realize it. So, so it was the it was the assassination card that actually. Uh, oh darn! Because yeah. well, and just just for clarification for our viewers, uh, what we were confused was maybe the fact that you came in by sea didn't qualify it as a land battle. Yeah, like it would be an amphibious battle, but in the rules, no, a sea battle is is ship on ship, and an army uh, battle is. Uh, you know, land battle. So, but okay. that, that explains it. So, well, I'm pretty sure now that, uh, yeah, the immortals, uh, yeah, was, was the, the assassination card. Yeah. Which now that said the battle could have gone either way. Like it was, could've. it was down to the last roll and I managed to pull it out, but it was a very risky play on my part. Yeah. Um, and actually, but, you know, in, in, in hindsight now, see, knowing that, you know, I, cause I was hold that's a, I was holding on to the immortals for this express purpose. Yeah. Which, was now kind of a move. But now, point. would you have played much differently? Because you don't have an unlimited number of armies. I mean, are, maybe you could have pulled an army or two from uh, Ephesos there. Because I think I, I would have probably pulled back from Thebe just to spruce up Abydos or even moved some over from Echidos uh, just Your, to make sure yeah, the bridge Ephesos, doesn't get. Yeah didn't get blown up right that was but it was like you you didn't you had four there and you've got five in Ephesos. like it wasn't like you completely threw everything you know out of balance no or. but i probably yeah it would either have been that or gone in for uh yeah or delhi I, that was the other thing i was thinking about doing but I, I probably wouldn't have passed with it with a card that was dead right that doesn't make sense yes yes that's that's true yeah although so what, although to be fair you could have used it for movement or whatever. That's, that's what I would have done. Right? I would have used it for movement, probably either, probably Thebe, but possibly even Etios there over. Yeah. Yeah. Just to spr spruce up the one that did, because I still had the ship out front, so that was yeah. one extra attack. So it's not so. totally, especially if, if I have like three cards in hand and you have one, I'd probably hold on to it, even if it was a dead card, because um, I don't want to play my last card and then the other player gets three moves in a row. Yeah, That's and just it, asking this is now it. turn four too. So yeah, kind of up against it. The bridge is blown. All my guys there now yeah. are, are are disconnected. They're all out of supply. So, so. you you played the immortals for movement, and <laughs> and uh, uh, I mean all I could I, do was go in and just take you out of there. Yes. Now I I had the three hundred, uh, so I played the uh, the three hundred, and it didn't really help me all that much. But I did get one. Uh, Persian army uh, there, and then we uh, it was a one for one deal. Jeez, that was it was very close too. So that yeah. was not great. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was. So this is so all the this, supply it was, phase. This, it was this end of turn that really. I mean, this this that was pretty much the game right there. Yeah, because uh, yeah, everything was out of supply. I uh, mean, we're in the last round too. I, there's just no time to bounce back at this point. And even though the game is actually technically pretty close. Yeah, well, I mean, it's I'm only up by one, but I just have no infrastructure. Yeah, there's no infrastructure there at all, and I've got the ability to build back my full army this turn, and yeah, and, and pull my fleets I mean, back. So, do I build the bridge? Do I build like I just don't have enough time to? Yeah. Now, what's interesting is you bought three cards, and then you built the bridge, which was interesting. Um, because I thought my only way would be to just start trying to take as many, because you didn't have access to cities either, so I thought I'm just going to try to take as many cities as I can yeah. here. Yeah, and actually that may have been a, a decent uh, move. Now, the only problem is, though, is you would have needed to use armies uh, <laughs> that to take them out of Abydos and leave it open again for the, yes. the same bridge maneuver. So, However, you were a bit of out of, out of position with yes. uh, your ship, so you, yeah. it was going to take you two turns to two cards to return. Yeah, with soldiers. So, and you also needed soldiers. So I, I yep. felt I, I, that was the the one upside. I mean, 
losing six on the bridge, I think, lost me the game. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. So I bought I bought uh, four cards. I got my Minds of Lo- Love uh, Lorion again. Um, Wrath of Pos- Poseidon. To get rid of your fleet, uh, again, our Art- Artemisia Malone Lab, and uh, I just basically built a couple armies. Getting ready to invade Abydos again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Round two. <laughs> yeah, like why not? So uh, yeah, so you played uh, card four for movement, which uh, which yep. one? Is, just this was move the, them all up. Yeah, Carnia Festival. Yeah, and then you you kind of left that. Uh, um, spot I was just open. going for broke at this point, right? Like I had to I had to go for a home run here. Yeah, there really wasn't much you could do, unfortunately. No. So, so I just moved my fleets back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's where I knew it was pretty much over. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there wasn't much you could do here, and uh, so you just kept advancing. And then what I did is I I used my uh, my cards of Lorian Lur- Lur- to buy a couple of cards, another army. Oh geez, yeah, spruce up. Yeah, and uh, you you had to pass. You only had the one card. Had to save it. And then uh, so I loaded up, invaded again. Blew the One bridge. Blew the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> a second time. Yeah. <laughs> and that was definitely the game. Yes. And then I, I just moved into Thebes just in case. And uh, then I uh, then you played the great king here. Yeah. Uh, I think at this point it was just I knew movement. the game was over. Yeah. There wasn't really much that could be so done. So I went in and I thought, you know what? Game's over. I'm just going to go for I'm going to go for the total Hail Mary here. Yeah. See so if we can get that point got, back, and, and I got absolutely wiped out. <laughs> schooled again, yeah, yeah. And then uh, so I I uh, was able to I did an attack on uh, on F uh, Ephesos there just to see um, <laughs> what I could do with it, and uh, managed to <laughs> literally we, we down to wipe one each ship. Other. Yeah, he had the a one single fleet. ship on the board. No, no troops. <laughs> no troops. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, was... it is actually pretty disheartening to see. You know, when you're when that bl- that bridge blows, that's a pretty. Oh yeah, because that's it's eight, I think, right? The cost yeah. six or six, yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot of a lot of resources. Yeah. Now again, I don't necessarily like I I it was a high risk move on my part. It could have gone either way, and if I'd lost, it would have been a a disaster. Yeah. So I'm, you know, so it wasn't necessarily the worst move ever. Um, just a big gamble for both It was sides. a big gamble, yeah. and I won, basically. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. But it, really, the lesson that we learned was that after Xerxes, you shouldn't hang on to the immortals. That was <laughs> yeah, the that's thing. right. <laughs> we answered our own oh. question. We actually started this video just like, what happened here? Cause and quite it, frankly, that was a very authentic question we did have. We, we fully yeah. planned on asking the audience, and then... <laughs> yeah, and then you're <laughs> like, the oh, cards wait. are flashing in front of me. There's the script on the very bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, might be good to point out for uh, for players of this game. Like, that that's a detail. It's not mentioned anywhere in the rules. There's nothing about it uh, other than a bit of fine print at the bottom of the card. So Yeah, so just keep your eyes on that. If there may be others. We're not sure. We'll have to – we'll come across those bridges when we, when we cross them. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Before it gets blown up by the Greek army. That's right. Oh, yeah. twice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, hope uh, hope you got some value out of this video and enjoyed the playthrough. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Legendary Tactics. <laughs> <laughs>